come back the first thing we're going to mark is the length so the tape rule i placed it as minus 16 and that's because um 16 inches is the half length so i measured out the knee length which is 34 and the full length which is 59 plus 1 to make it 60. so here is my knee length which is 34 inches but my tape rule is measured from 16 16 inches which is the half length now the circumference measurement i have the underbar circumference 28 the waist 30 and the hip circumference is 38 inches now my circumference measurement plus 8 and divide the sum by 4 in 4 i add 8 inches to all my circumference measurements and divide the sum by 4 which is still the same as your circumference measurement divided by 4 plus 2 you are going to get the same answer if you divide the circumference measurement by 4 and add 2 so we have 11.5 inches which is the highest circumference measurement so first i'm going to measure the underbar circumference measurement which is 9 inches And then you can get the distance between that and the waist. The waist is 9.5 inches. And also you can get the distance between the waist and the hip so that you can know the point to measure out. The hip is 11.5 inches. Then at the knee length, we are going to subtract one inch from whatever measurements you have on um, the hip. So it becomes 10.5 inches. The 10.5 inches is what I'll measure all the way to the base. Now we're going to connect the points. And then the next thing to do is to measure out um, the darts, the darts measurements, which is four inches or your bust pan. You can use your bust pan as well to measure the spot. So here is my four inches. I'm going to take the four inches to the base um, of my dress or your pattern. Also, at the top, I am going to mark out the same four inches. Now, here around the hip, you can increase the measurement to five, six, seven. You can increase it to eight inches. It depends on um, your choice. So, I am using 6.5 inches here. And I'm going to connect like this. Um, let's number it so we don't mix it up. Also, we we'll need to cut this out. Now, what we are going to do is place your pattern. I mean, fold your fabric first. You have to be sure that the base of um the base of your fabric is as wide as what you want like i folded um 10 inches you can increase it to 12 you can increase it to 13 14 depending on how much width you want so you can see that here now i need to cut out the pattern so that i can spread it out you can still continue to spread it depending on how much um you want it to uh how much width you want at the base but here at the top, you have to maintain the measurement, whatever you have on your pattern. But the base, you can spread it out as much as you want.
Having done that, we are going to cut it out. Let's see what we have after cutting out. Can you see the results? So beautiful. Let's move to the second pattern. Also, we're going to fold our fabric, but this time around, take for instance, if um, the folding initially, what you have at the base is 10 inches. By the time you open it, you have 20 inches. So here you have to measure 20 inches and then measure out, not, I mean, mark out the middle. If you fold 9 inches initially, that's 18 when you unfold. So you have to measure 18 inches at this point. Now, the base of my pattern, you need to fold it and also mark out, you know, just notch the middle. And make sure you place that middle here. It will align. But first, we are going to, we are going to cut out this part of the pattern. So we are going to... Open it up, just cut into two so that we can spread out, you know, one side to the left and the other side to the right. Automatically, by the time we are done cutting, it's going to give us the both sides. So that's the reason you need to fold um, the full measurement. Like I said, if the fall, you know, this is pattern two. On your pattern one, if what you folded, um, if you fold 9 inches, for instance, you know, when you unfold, you get 18 inches. So here on the fabric, you have to measure the whole of 18 inches because it's going to give you the full measurement by the time we are done cutting. So this is um, what I was trying to explain. We'll open it up. I mean, spread it out for you to see. So here we have both front, I mean, the right hand side and the left hand side. And here is the middle. So the base is equal measurements. What we're going to do now is place the middle front. Yes, the middle piece to cut out the middle piece for the back. What we've just cut is the front. You need to cut out the back. So just place your fabric and leave your one inch zipper allowance and cut it out. So for the back, we need to open it up. Just separate the back. Next is to cut out the side. So you have to cut each side separately. One side for the right, the other side for the left side. Now we're moving to the back. Um, sorry, we are moving to the half length for the front. So I have the bust measurement 34, under bust is 28, same measurement, plus 8 divided by 4, or divided by 4 plus 2 inches. So we have 10.5 and 9 inches. The highest is 10.5 and Let's see, 10.5 plus 2 inches is what we are going to fold because it's a busty address. And for every busty address, you have to add 2 inches extra. So here's the 2 inches I'm marking out first. So that from there, I can have 10.5. But together with the 2 inches, I have 12.5 inches folded. Here's my 16 inches, which is the half length. I measured 13 inches, which is the under bust length and 8.5 inches for our ham old. You have to measure from the top. So first we're going to hide the two inches so that we can have our basic 10.5 inches and then we can mark out all of our measurements. The shoulder is 15 divided by two will give us 7.5 inches. Here below the 8.5, we're going to mark out the 10.5 inches, which is the bust measurement. And then below the under bust length, we're going to have the under bust circumference, which is 9 inches.
So first, to get the armhole, let's draw our L shape. Then from this corner, or from I mean, first we're going to get the midpoint of eight point five. That's four point two five, and we have one point five here. At this point, at the point, at the midpoint, you come in by zero point five. So you can connect your armhole like this. like this and then we have the bust to the other bust circumference then to the base so i guess from here we can cut next is to unfold our two inches We are going to fold a uh, um padded, you know, it's a bustier um dress. But first, to cut out the yoke, you can go with the measurement of your choice: seven, eight, nine. Then at the armhole, I am marking out seven inches. You can decide on the measurement you want to use at the midpoint. I marked out 10 inches. So it goes like this. From my seven to the um, six inches, then from the six inches to my 10 inches. You can still bring it as low as you want. You can bring it as low as nine, 10, 11. You can bring it like this to connect. You know, you can just draw out any um, measurement of your choice for the yoke can still come down like this depends on what you want so let's cut this before we move to the padded having done that we are now moving to we are going to fold based on our bust span bust span with this measurement that i'm using is seven inches that's 3.5 inches plus 0 0.5 for my allowance that's four inches remember we have our under bust length and then from the under bust measure the nipple point you can as well measure your nipple point from the shoulder you still get the same measurement so under bust to nipple point is 3.5 that's my nipple points on under bust so from the folding i am taking out one inch i'm taking out one inch while at the top i'm taking out 1.5 inches from my 1.5 i'll connect to the nipple points like this Then the one inch from the base continues to the under bust length. And from there, I'll connect to the nipple point like this. Then from there, straight down. So connect your points and cut it out. This is what we have. Now I'm going to place this to cut my fabric. Cut fabric, your lining, your wording, your stick with this pattern. Well, I'll use this to cut out the yoke. And the yoke, I'll be cutting out two of this. Remember, the, we had an extra two inches. So the two inches, I'll mark it out for so that we can trace it out. The two inches was added to the bustier area. We do not need that at um, the yoke part, the yoke area of our dress. So we need to cut it out. Here is what we have. Then we move to the neckline. You can also go with any neckline of your choice. Depth, I'll use 3.5 inches and width, I'll use 3 inches. 
you can go with any measurements and any design that you want. So uh, one inch measurement for shoulders length, then I'll connect the points and cut it out. Now here's going to be the final results. So use this to cut out your, you can use this to cut your fabric. Next, we are moving to cutting out the back. The length is 16 inches. So I'm making this 17, that's a length, 13 inches on that bust and 8.5 for the arm hole. Here we are going to measure the shoulder divided by two and for the back, remember that we need to add a zipper allowance. So shoulder divided by two plus two inches. The bust circumference is 10.5 plus two will give us 12.5. On that bust is nine plus two will give us 11 inches. Just make sure you add the two inches to your measurements. Then you connect your points. Now, drafting out um, the back design, it actually depends on your choice. But first, I have 1.5 as the basic neckline. And this, remember, we added 2 inches to the measurement. So it is now um, 5 inches. Then 1 inch for the shoulder slant. Then you connect. We use 3 inches for the neckline at the front. So it becomes 5 inches for the bag because of the zipper allowance that we added. Now, I am going to measure down, depending on your choice, I am going to measure down 2.5 inches first. Then the width as well depends on you, but I'll go with four inches. And I'll connect like this. It's a love shape. So the length now you can you can go with any length of your choice as well depending on how low you want it. I am marking out um twelve inches. If you want to make it ten, you make it eleven. You make it fourteen, fifteen. Just go do that. Then make sure you cut out the shape that you want. Then you can trace out all your patterns. 